All right, so here we go. We're on the ring dashboard. So we're going to talk about all the things here on the dashboard. So each item and then some of these items we'll get into individually. So we're going to start off at the top row up here. So we're going to go all the way over and we're going to work from left to right. So let's start off with the three lines in the top left corner. So I'm going to click on those and then we're going to get our menu here. So the first thing we have at the top of this menu is our location. What location are we at and what location are we changing the settings for? Because you can have multiple locations under your Ring app. So if you have rental properties, vacation properties, you can have all of them listed here and you can just click on that location setting and you can choose what location you want to change or monitor or look at within your Ring app. Underneath that, you've got the dashboard. So right where we just came from, that's the dashboard. Then you've got your neighbors. So if you want to see what neighbors are saying or what's going on in your location, you can see what the neighbors are talking about. Then you've got your devices. So we can click on the devices that we have under our ring system, and then we can go into and modify or monitor those particular devices. We've got a history, so our history of the different notifications for all of our devices. We've got a history of that. And then we've got our settings. This is the overall settings for your Ring app and Ring system. Each individual device also has a set of settings. So you can go into those settings for each individual device. But this is the overall settings for your Ring app and your Ring system. If you want to set up a new device, you can start that here, or sometimes you may just scan the QR code, which will take you into setting up a device as well. But this is just another place that you're going to be able to set up a device is right here under the main menu. And then this is your plan. So if you have the ring plan, which is a big part of your monitoring system, you can have the ring plan. And this is where you can go in and see what plan you're on or modify your plan and things like that. Your account, what is your account set up? How do you have your account set up? This is your account. Your control center for controlling different notifications and things like that. What's new? What's new with Ring? And trust me, Ring is always modifying, trying to make the system better, coming out with new products and things like that. So the what's new could consist of things within the app, things within different devices. So you can always check this out and see what's going on, especially when you're updating your app. You may see some different features or things that are added to your existing devices. And this is our shop deals. Who doesn't want a good deal, right? So this is where you want to go. If you're looking for new devices and things like that, shop deals, Ring is always putting out some deals. So you can go there, check that out and see what deals, what do you want to add to your existing system? And this is where you can do it. Or maybe you want to buy somebody a gift. There's good deals in there for that as well. So this is where the shop deals comes into play. And then you can invite neighbors. This little section right here, you can form your own neighbor groups. They could be neighbors right here in your individual neighborhood or somewhere else. If you want to share ring tips or help monitor maybe your family's houses and things like that, you can make little neighborhood groups. And then last but not least, this is our help menu. So if you want to get help, this is where you would go to do that under the help menu. All right, so let's head back to the dashboard. So I'm just going to click on the dashboard here. And we're just going to keep cruising across the top of the dashboard. So again, you're going to see in the app, there's multiple places to do things sometimes. So you'll see some things that are duplicated in different areas of the app. For instance, location is right next to the menu. So you can actually click the location you want right here. You don't have to go into the menu. I can change the location of what I want to work from right here on the dashboard. So if I'm trying to change to maybe my rental property or vacation property, I can just click the location right here where the little arrow is and I can go to my different locations right here. Now let's keep sliding over. We've got the little moon and this is going to be our snooze for the entire setup so your entire ring system so we have multiple cameras if you look snooze motion on all cameras so all the cameras that you have in your ring system this is going to snooze all of them together now you can go into each individual camera and snooze them individually but let's say you're having a party or something you got a lot of people in the house maybe you're doing construction at the house whatever something like that that you just want to shut down and snooze all the cameras at the same time 
this is where you would go to snooze them all and you have a choice you can choose from 30 minutes one hour two hours three hours or four hours of your snooze duration so after that duration it'll go back to monitoring as normal and then you may have to add more time if people are going to be at your house uh, longer than that you may add more time to that so this is to temporarily snooze all of your cameras at the same time and remember you can go into each one individually this setting right here is just if you're trying to do all of them at the same time all right i'm gonna hit the x in the top right and back out of here and then next to that we've got the shield with the exclamation mark on it i'm gonna click on that and what this is is quick request for help at the location that you are so whatever location that you're at right now you can do quick request for help and you got three things you can choose from you can request the police you can request fire and you can request medical and all you're going to do is slide one of these things over now if you look if you request police response and you slide the slider over it's also going to sound the siren the same thing with your fire when you slide that over it's going to sound your siren for your alarm now this is a part of your monitoring system if you have the ring alarm so if you don't have a ring alarm you won't have this as an option on your ring system you're only going to have this option if you have the ring alarm system and this is going to give you that option because that has the monitoring built in so if you request medical that's the only one that doesn't sound the siren for you so maybe you're 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 panicked you see somebody in your house or something like that and you need quick response you're just going to go in here hit that shield hit the slider and you're going to go right into it the same with fire maybe your fire alarm starts going off in the middle of the night you want to go ahead and click this response now your monitoring will do that as well but this is just another quick way to do it you know self-activated so maybe before you get an alert you want to you may want to need that response you may go right into it from here same with sounding your siren all the way at the bottom maybe you just want to sound the siren you wake up you hear some noise your alarm's not going off or anything like that maybe you just want to sound that siren to scare maybe somebody away or something like that if you hear somebody starting to tamper with the house or something like that at night and you're just scared you just want to sound that siren you can just sound that siren only and maybe uh get some scare somebody away so these are quick responses you can get based on your monitoring system okay so we're going to cruise out of here. I'm going to hit the X at the top right again. And we're back on the dashboard. All right, let's talk about the next section down. And this section is dedicated to your ring alarm system. So you've got three choices of how you're going to set your alarm up. It's either going to be disarmed, you're going to be set in a home status, or you're going to be set in a away status. And let's talk about each one of those. So if I'm disarmed, nothing's going on don't have anything monitoring as far as making the alarm go off now you still have notifications if a door is open if a window is open if motion goes off and you can see the little ticker right there underneath all of these choices so right now it says my I'm disarmed but it detected motion in part of my house so one of my motion detectors you know, just went off so I can see that so you're still going to get notifications even if your system is disarmed if doors windows or your motion is detected it's just not attached to the alarm in this particular setting now home when I'm at home so let's say I'm getting ready to go to bed and I'm at home now you've activated some things that are going to be associated with an alarm so my doors and windows if they're open will set the alarm off because i'm now i'm in home mode so this is like when you're shutting it down for the night you're going to sleep and you want to make sure that you know if somebody tries to get into the house the alarm goes off if that happens while you're asleep so that's your home mode then away i'm gone i'm out of here so not only are my doors and windows going to be a part of the alarm but now my motion detection is going to be a part of the alarm so let's say somehow somebody gets past one of the um doors and windows the the monitoring the sensors on the doors and windows somebody gets past that they've also got to get past the motion because now the motion inside the house is going to get triggered to trigger the alarm so those are the three settings that you're going to have as far as your alarm you're either going to be disarmed home or away and then you got to just choose which one of those you you got going on there and then you can get notifications regardless on which one you're still going to get notifications but home and away you may get an alarm going off if one of those sensors is activated.
All right, so this next section down, you see where you've got some boxes here. And these are just shortcuts to things that you use a lot, like your locks, your lights, your alarm. So just things that you use a lot and it gives you quick access to them. If I scroll over, I have some things that you could add in the future and you can remove those by clicking on the X in the top right corner of those boxes if you wanna just get rid of them. Uh, so you don't wanna see them right now. And if I wanna edit the arrangement of the shortcuts that I have there, I can just click on edit and then I'll see all the things I have in the shortcuts. And then to the right of each one of those, you'll see two little lines. And I can just click and drag that into the order that I want my shortcuts to be. So the things that you use the most, you can put them in the order of how you want it. And once you got it arranged the way you want it, you're going to go back and just click on the arrow in the top left. And that'll take you back and you should see the new arrangement of how you have your shortcuts so just making it quick for you to get to things that's what this section is all about next section down is our camera so if i just scroll down right here you can see all my cameras now i've got a different view of how i can look at my cameras i like this view because it gives me a little bigger profile picture of what's going on there if i click on the little dots so if i look at cameras and then i go across over to the right i got four little boxes if i click on that it's going to give me smaller thumbnails this may be helpful if you've got a whole bunch of cameras and you just need the smaller thumbnails i don't mind the scrolling so i'm going to click back on those lines and i don't mind scrolling to see those different views of my cameras so i can just scroll down and see that and i can click on each camera i can get the settings for each camera underneath this section right here but that's all my cameras i can see that each one has got some notifications going on so you know i may be capturing some traffic or some critters going on in my back cam but all of these are set up we'll talk about later the individual settings on your apps or cameras okay all right if i scroll down i just got a few remaining things underneath my cameras and the first one is discovery. So this is usually when new things come out um, regarding your Ring app, your Ring system, or your devices, you'll see that under discovery. Where they'll give you some different tips of what those upgrades are, those new features are under this discovery section. Then underneath that, you've got set up a device. So like I said, there's multiple places that you can do things. This is another place on the dashboard where you can just go to set up a new device. And then underneath that, you're typically going to have some type of tip. It's usually a tip right here. This one is can take, take control of your home with modes. So this is just a tip that they have set up on here. So that's it. That's all you have underneath cameras is discovery, set up a device, and then different types of tips on here. So that's everything on the dashboard in a nutshell. So we're going to talk just a little more in detail about some of these individual things on the dashboard. We're going to go into them and just talk about some of the other pieces on the dashboard, about some of the settings we can do within that. Um, because again, I want to give you just kind of a basic overview of your Ring app. So that's the dashboard. Let's get into some of these other details.